a KQED television production. It's like holy mother of comfort food. Throw it down, it's noodle crack. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter. Okay, I'm the bacon guy, right? <laughs> Oh, it just did one. a jig every time I dipped into it. It just completely blew really? my mind. I felt like I had a mouthful of raw vegetables and dry dough. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert <laughs> first. <Yes>. It, uh, <laughs> I told me you had to wait. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru online at Subaru.com. Located at the Southern Gateway to Napa, Jamison Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport. Offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, tutor and education think tank leader Rachel Trapathy is an investigative student herself. She scopes out the dining scene, identifies local chefs, and uncovers their styles. It's almost as fun as getting to know the food itself. And customer marketing manager Andrea Ramirez works at a beverage manufacturer. Eloquent and comically articulate, she has her colleagues in stitches describing the aromas and flavors of her product line. But first, Director of Finance John Zakowski is frugal with money. He knows when to pinch his pennies and when to splurge with his dining dollars. Value for him includes ethnic destinations and his favorite is on Las Positas Road in Livermore. It's called Lana Thai. Lana Thai means a meal in rice field. Hi, my name's Kimberly Gamble. I'm the sous chef and co-owner of Lana Thai in Livermore. Mom's specialty is in Southern Thai food. And so Southern Thai food is based on really spicy food and lots of curries. Hi, my name is Prakan. I am an executive chef. I didn't know that I had my passion for cooking until I came to America. I want to share the way I grew up cooking for my family. I helped my mom run Lana Thai in Livermore ever since we opened. Cooking is really one of my passions. A lot of times I spend my summer going to Thailand and learning like the Thai dishes and finding recipes from people because my mom and I always like to make up new dishes. I come in every morning to make curry paste from scratch. Yeah, I kept the spiciness more than Thai people eat back home because people in Livermore 80% eat very spicy. A lot of Thai restaurants, they have mild, medium, and hot, but we also have Thai hot. Like when we tell customers it's Thai hot, they think, oh, okay. But then the next time they come in, they order like medium because our food is actually really spicy. All right, John, how long have you been going to Lana Thai? Pretty much since they opened back in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, their food selection is incredible. Obviously, it's great value for the money. Um, <laughs> love the service. Your Pinching my pennies, anymore. you know. And everything's so original. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everything from the homemade curry, they make their own roti there. Perkin's an absolute genius in the kitchen, and she can just create new flavors, new experiences every time you go. So I wake up thinking about, and, the cold, I mean, I, and with a sweat, thinking about the, <laughs> what, 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 what I call. I'm sorry, I cannot get that. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. I call it the Thai taco. Um, okay. Chef Perkin hates when I call it that. But basically, it's a spicy chicken roti, which is a little bit grilled on a bed of kind of the vinegar um, sauce with the Thai vegetables, with the cucumber, the carrots, kind of a little bit pickled. But what brings it all together is the spicy chicken. It's got this amazing savory orange sauce. Mm -hmm. And when it all comes together, you get the crunchiness from the vegetables, you get the sweetness with the savory. It is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, I should have ordered right that. Now. I know, I am. Why did they order that? 
Yes. It's not called the taco, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we wait, should so tell what? them to change the name of that. <laughs> I would order it next time. Um, so when I went, I got the pad seyu, which is a very staple dish for me whenever I go get Thai food, was okay. I wish there had been more veggies and more sauce. I love broccoli. I love how broccoli, the little florets, kind of soak up the sauce when you eat it, especially with yeah. Thai food. And I feel like right. there could have been a little bit more. And I got a side of tom kha soup that was definitely my favorite. That soup was yeah. tangy and delicious. Coconutty, but not too much. Came with some tofu, some veggies in it, and a little bit of like a chili oil on top. That was great. I did like the place, and I feel like if I maybe lived locally, it would definitely be somewhere <laughs> I tried out again. I right. did drive like 40 minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I noticed that you could order online for delivery too. Which in was San Francisco? <laughs> in San Francisco, because if it were by my house, I would do the same. Right. Yeah. We went for broke and truly ordered a ton of dishes, way Excellent. more food than we really <laughs> needed to get. The crab rangoon, so many places they're frozen and yep. they're fresh there. Yep. Um, I didn't taste a lot of crab in them, however, they still <laughs> tasted really good. <laughs> uh, we had a curry, I had the pumpkin curry. Oh, yeah, I, I love kabocha and so there's all of the delicious flavors and then that kabocha, you can really overcook it and mm -hmm. there still was some kind of structural integrity where you could chew it in oh, your mouth. Wash is so good with curry. Mm -hmm. Just like mm -hmm. kind of like the broccoli, it soaks it up. Yeah. So right, yeah. right. And then we had a, a spicy beef dish that was mm -hmm. good, spicy chili beef, massimum beef. Mm -hmm. That was way too much food for two people. But oh my gosh, two people! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It was too much food for two people. And did you feel like there was value then in that? Oh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I probably got five meals out of it. <laughs> Huge portions. I mean, right, they the really. They were. Yeah. They really were. It was the kind of place where you want to go and split things family style. Yep. I mean, that place was a steal. Well, I mean, no one's mentioned the pad thai. I mean, I know maybe it's because it's the common dish that everybody has, but the pad thai is phenomenal and um, huge portions of protein in there so with the shrimp and the chicken and mm -hmm. leg. But a lot of times what they have is on the dish, too. There's a little bit of artwork, too. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you feel like something kind of light, too, like there's right. the shrimp salad, it's incredible. So it's got the spiciness in it. It's got like the, the, the wonderful bed of lettuce, but just like huge portions of shrimp. Right. Well, it's interesting you talk about the spice because yeah. that's one thing a lot of Thai restaurants you'll go I'm always terrified to get anything mm. hot yeah and there so we decided to order everything medium okay. and the medium wasn't hot enough I yeah. needed more and that they can get is, there I'm sure they can and I, like, I speak from experience yeah. right? Trust me. <laughs> but I thought that was really interesting yeah. just in in perspective it's like if you like hot stuff you probably would want to order it hot yeah, yeah. Well, we've been talking about classic Thai dishes here what mm -hmm. about those the more avant-garde, the shooters. They have the chicken dumpling shooter, and it comes in this like little kind of sake glass, mm -hmm. okay? And then so in the dumpling sitting in there, and then they have kind of this like the sauce sitting in like a little pot, and you can pour that in there too. And so you get this kind of cheesy curry sauce that goes over the chicken dumpling, and you literally just shoot it back. How did I not order this? Time? I know. I, know. <laughs> I, know. I, feel. I, I think know. I must have ordered the wrong things on the menu. Now I'm going to have to drive all the way back out there and get the You're chicken dumpling shooters and the tacos. A John with you and pull them in. Yeah. yeah. It's just but there's a little twist like Thai poutine and stuff like th there that. There is. It starts with a bed of french fries and there's this cheesy curry sauce that they put on top of it, caramelized onions, and then this, this kind of egg over easy. And it's incredibly savory. It has kind of the gooey goodness of all those things together. So, all right, yeah. this is your spot. John, wrap it up for us. Incredible bang for the buck, amazing Thai food, great service, um, most creative, inventive cuisine, I think, uh, in the Far East Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say great service, definitely a broad menu to choose from. Maybe I didn't order right, um, but if you go, apparently you have to get the the talk the Thai tacos. tacos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Andrea, go crazy on the appetizer menu. Um, get that pumpkin curry mm -hmm. and order enough for leftovers. Mm -hmm. If you would like to try Lana Thai, it's on Las Positas Road at North Livermore Avenue in Livermore. The telephone number is nine two five. 443-1101. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are accepted and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $20.
take a stroll through yesteryear at Rachel's retro gastro destination. Built on the bones of a once melodic record store, this revamped wine bar doesn't even have a stove in the kitchen. But that doesn't stop them from producing restaurant quality dishes to go with their sophisticated wine list. On 20th in San Francisco, it's called 20 Spot. We're in an old record store. We liked the old uh, neon record sign so much that we left it. My name is Bodhi Freedom. Uh, I opened 20 Spot in the Mission with my business partner, Peter Goggin. Generally, my favorite wines are uh, from Burgundy and from Germany. And I like Pinot Noir and I like Riesling. So the list is definitely very heavy on those two varietals and places. There are a lot of old bottles of German Riesling. The thing that makes the food program special and unique here is that we don't have a stove, we don't have a hood. So all of the meat is cooked in an immersion circulator. It's called sous vide. It's definitely not a conventional dining experience. It makes me think outside of the box in terms of how to design food because I can't do simple things such as roasting or grilling. My name is Caleb Jones and I am the chef at 20 Spot in San Francisco. In the menu, it's designed for wine bar, so it's smaller plates for sharing, so the food tends to air on the lighter side. I would say we get a pretty eclectic mix of, you know, different ages, different ethnicities, different sexualities. It's, it's a melting pot. When people come here, I'd like them to remember us for the experience they had, the light, the music, the food, the wine, the camaraderie, the, you know, human connections. Now, Rachel, this place is owned by uh, Bodhi Freedom. Has to be the best name for anybody ever. Awesome. <laughs> Who has another wine bar, Bacchus. Um, and it really is wine bar, but with a twist, isn't it? It is. In fact, I think the first or second time I ate there, he told me, no, we're not a wine bar. Yeah. We're a restaurant. Yeah. And um, I live very close, so I kept going for the wine, and I'd get some oysters, I'd get a cheese plate, and finally, he was like, you need to get some food, you're getting some food. So he <laughs> ordered for me, didn't really ask me, ordered some food, brought it out, and it was amazing. I do love that they have the small plates to start with. They do really high quality oysters. They make a mignonette that's to die for. You can get cheese and crackers and delicious bread, but you can also order more substantial dishes. The last time I went, I ordered king trumpet mushrooms with mm -hmm. a cheese mm -hmm. sauce mm -hmm. and sunchokes. I'm not really a sunchoke fan, but the way it paired with the king trumpet mushrooms, it brought the sweetness to the dish that kind of cut through the cheese sauce, and it was hearty and delicious, and I ordered bread to soak up the mm. sauce. It's like a pot pie of yeah. sorts <laughs> that was not a pot pie at all. <laughs> it was really, really amazing. They, yeah, it was they, delicious. They come up with all these small details because they're a uh, kitchen without a stove, mm -hmm. so they work entirely with a, um, like a circulator to sous vide their food, okay. and mm -hmm. they have a microwave and a small oven, so by making their own butter and these small details, that's how they right. really really blow the food out of the mm -hmm, water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I order their raw dishes a lot. They did hamachi when I was there, so raw yellowtail oh. crudo with avocado and um, house pickled fennel. That was really mm. good. Nice. There is, is a lovely wine list. Yep. Um, a lot of the selections nicely of the menu as well as mm -hmm. uh, some of the wines are, are under 20. So a 20 right. spot has a lot <laughs> yeah. of meaning, right? My favorite thing was that there's this crab dish there. Um, have you tried that? Oh, the potted crab. Yes. I didn't try it, but oh, it looks really that good. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. I, actually, I would go there again. I'm going to go there again just for that. It was incredible. I think there was kind of like a lemon wedge with it too. So you kind of get that little citrusy kind of um, mm -hmm. goodness to it too. But it was just so fresh and it was just huge portions too. It was filled with crab. Wow. It was amazing. It was absolutely delicious. Just to warn you, they're yeah. doing crab because it's Dungeness crab season right now, okay. but usually they do potted rabbit when it's not crab season okay. and that's also really good. Okay. I went with my boyfriend for like a nice date night and what was really interesting is looking through the wine list, there wasn't a Zinfandel on there and that typically is what we drink. And so we asked for some recommendations and ended up with a Pinot, which is so different and light, right. but it was a very good wine. We had the deviled eggs, and they come out on this big, long plate, mm. and they have this cured salmon and some roe on it, but the texture of the actual yolk is so buttery and smooth and creamy. It's as though it's egg frosting that's not <laughs> It's so, they were really wow. spectacular. And I'll make a suggestion that if people have those, that you have a either a Clément de Loire or a Clément d'Alsace, which is a sparkling wine from France. You know, I was expecting a wine bar that also served food, but I did find that it was more of a restaurant that happened to have a great wine selection. Right. That, along with just kind of the general ambiance, I just... Um, that was probably of all the restaurants, you know, that was the one that really kind of blew, blew me away. It's because so inventive, very creative, 
Everything from the kind of skeleton Elvis on the wall. The vinyl the entire time you're there. Yes. All they play is vinyl. I love yeah, that. Because it was oh, an it was old record, record store. store. Yeah. Yeah. My boyfriend was going crazy because apparently a lot of the records that they're playing to are the old hard to find yep. club edition LPs or whatever that he yeah. searched all of LA for. And they don't show it off. It's like mm -hmm. you wouldn't even notice right. it necessarily. Right. They're not like, hey, we only play records here because we're so trendy. It's right. like you wouldn't even know, but yeah. they just do it because they like it. Right. It's feels like a nice living room. It I does. Like, yeah. That's exactly what I felt like. When you walk yeah. in, it's like coming into someone's living room. Right. That's what it felt mm -hmm. like. Right. Yeah. I love that. I felt about 10 years too old. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No. okay. It, it does seem like where the cool kids hang out. I, yeah. I will say that. You're a cool kid. So, I, mean, I, you know. I definitely felt bridge and tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. I am the old lady from the right. And desserts. They do have desserts oh, there you can man. enjoy, right? Yeah. So did you have like a, the, the chocolate the chocolate pudding, it was the brownie. like chocolate s'more kind of, I mean, it, yeah. was, it was incredible. So, I, and, I, and I, that's actually, I'm very partial to dessert. I mean, that's, that's what I look forward to. And if you love chocolate, this is just like being in heaven. I mean, it's just like being kissed by an angel. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, <laughs> I absolutely amazing. I went wine and a cheese board. <laughs> Wait, were you like having dessert? Of, you having dessert? That is dessert? dessert. Cheese oh, okay. is dessert in my world. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. yeah. And the cheese plate was probably one of the best I've ever had, mm -hmm. just with the sheer amount of accoutrement that that's came with it. Yes. You really like the cheese Oh, that's a good point. I mean, obviously, there's the cheese is wonderful, but there's also so a wonderful selection of vegetables that go along with it. And right. All right, this is your spot, Rachel, 20 spot. Give us a quick summary. I would say that they have a very innovative wine list that changes a lot, so you can go back every time and get a different wine by the glass, um, and they will always pair either your wine with the right food or your food with the right wine in a very nice atmosphere. All right, and Andrea? You have to get that cheese plate, <laughs> get a flight of wines, and the mushroom dish with the sunchokes was to die for. Okay, and John. Incredible ambiance. I felt very cool being there. Um, I'll definitely go back for the crab and the rabbit. <laughs> All right, if you would like to try 20 Spot, it's on 20th between Mission and Valencia in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415 624 3140. It's open for dinner Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $35. I was heading off to Chile for a trip once when my then young daughter asked me, Mommy, is it Chile in Chile? <laughs> it can be. While we may think of the South American country as a hot spot, the Andes Mountains, ice fields of Patagonia, and sweeping Pacific Ocean create incredible diversity. Beautiful whites are made in Chile, but to me, it's a red wine paradise. Their signature grape is Carmenere, brought to Chile in the mid-1800s from Bordeaux, France. Mistaken for Merlot until fairly recently, it now produces world-class spicy reds, especially in the famous Colchagua Valley of central Chile. Cabernet Sauvignon is dominant in the historic Maipo Valley just outside Santiago, producing iconic wines, while lush old vine Carignan from the remote Maule is trendy. And Pinot Noir lovers head west to Casablanca and Leda Valleys, which are perched along the cold Pacific coastline, producing elegant Pinot Noirs worthy of attention. Cheers. If you haven't managed a trip to the Swiss Alps or the Italian Riviera, you're in luck. Andrea's pick transports its guests to dine at a little piece of European heaven. From Rosti to Risotto, you'll find it all in Foster City at Chalet Ticino. My name is Alexander Ditos and uh, the name of the restaurant is Chalet Ticino. Uh, my family, we've lived in the Italian part of Switzerland for many, many years. And then I went to the Ecole Hotelier in Lausanne in the French part of Switzerland and came to the United States in 1966. We are a neighborhood restaurant, very simple, lots of families, and then over the years I wanted our customers to experience the Swiss Italian specialties from the different regions of Switzerland. The Röstis, the Swiss potato pancakes which we make, of course raclette, we serve it with three different sausages, beef, pork and veal. We have a very simple wine list, every wine is priced at $7.50 a glass and $28 a bottle. We do have fondant, of course it's a very popular wine in Switzerland, we serve with the fondue. I mean, I have fun. I'm here at 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't leave sometimes at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, my staff, they're like family to us. They've been with us for 15, 16 years. We have a lot of regular customers. We love them. To us, it's like coming somebody into your own home. We just thrive on that, uh, especially when they enjoy their evening and they, they let you know, etc. It makes my day, <laughs> for sure. 
Now, Andrea, we don't often see a lot of Swiss restaurants around the Bay Area, do we? No, I haven't seen any other than Chalet Ticino. And lucky for me, it's only a mile and a half from my house. <laughs> and I just love to go have fondue. It seems like such a hassle to make it home. They've and been, it's been there about 20 plus years. Yeah, 20, 20 years. 20, 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. owner too, right? Mm -hmm. right. right? Same owner, yeah. Right. Alex, Alex Swiss, yep. actually. Yep. Okay. I went there with a girlfriend a few years ago, and we were just like, ah. Oh, this is fantastic. I, I remember the first time they brought out the little cauldron of bubbling cheese, and you know, you're sticking your tongue in there, and the mm -hmm. cheese is coming out. And the cheese is this Emmentaler. It's rich, gooey, and warm, savory. I don't know. It's so fun, and it's a really interactive way to enjoy a leisurely good meal mm -hmm. with friends. And since then, I've just been back a number of times. Because there's much more than fondue. There, there is, is a Swiss lot more than fondue. Fondue. Now, it's really hard to get me away from the fondue, uh, but um, they have some really nice salads. Just their dressing on their house salad is just fantastic. Yes. And their cream of mushroom soup is just incredible, too. It's yeah. so good. It's rich, it's savory, and it's just, it's very satisfying. You could have a cup of soup and feel like you've eaten an entire meal. So you went to the Italian side of the board. I did. I, I, that's okay. why I was asking. Okay. Interesting. I, I, yeah, because I'm more used to the Italian, so maybe right. I went a little more with my, with my comfort level. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so but so they actually had this kind of was a price fix kind of menu. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. it was three of us. So we we had each one. So we had the salmon. Perfect. We had the roasted duck. I mean, very savory, a little bit kind of crisp, you know, on the outside there. Um, and you don't get that. It's actually kind of difficult to find that. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that there. So I ended up going with the petrolli sole. That's the best petrolli sole I've ever had in at any wow. any situation. It was absolutely amazing. It was buttery. It was kind of lemony. It was just like just the right texture. And also with the salmon dish, there was this roasted um, garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. I kind of wish I had that with petrolli sole because I love vegetables. Right. But you know, with those garlic mashed potatoes, were phenomenal. Alex, is that the owner? Alex, yes. the owner, and Ticino is actually the county or the, the okay. place in oh. Switzerland that he's from. Okay. So First of all, Ticino. what a doll! He yeah. just charmed our <laughs> he is. stock. He is charming. Yeah, he's a very charming guy. Um, I mean, the service, I mean, is phenomenal. I mean, I've I, always had Alex. Like, I've, he's I, the I, owner. I, I, I he's a little too. black I pepper. Too. Yeah, yeah. 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 he carries around this little like holds it dearly, like it's precious to him. Like bucket of freshly ground pepper and this little wooden shovel and yeah. he comes and <laughs> sprinkles it on your dishes like with right. the best care. He is a professional pepper sprinkler. Yeah. <laughs> I was really intrigued by the prefix menu. I thought yes. all of the entrees looked so good. Yeah. Um, but I went with my boyfriend and he said he's he's heard of ordering, is it Rosti or Rosti? The mm -hmm. Rosti, The yeah. Rosti. Um, I, it must be Italian or it's, Swiss it's Italian? It's a Swiss pancake that's almost yeah. like a hash brown. And Ooh. when it comes out, it's pretty. It doesn't look like it's going to be quite as rich and flavorful as it is, but it's served with this, I think it's like mm -hmm. a, a seasoned creme fraiche that melts down into the hash brown. <laughs> and then there's mm. salty capers, delicious, almost creamy salmon, and you just get a little bit with each bite, and it was so good. <laughs> I've never had anything like that. I guess I went Italian too, or maybe yeah. Northern Italian, mm -hmm. Swiss, kind of the same thing. Yeah. We yeah. Had, uh, had the chicken milanese. The chicken was cooked perfectly, kind of browned on both sides, and served with gnocchi on the side, which was great, but I didn't even need need it because the chicken came in this white wine and butter sauce that was so beautiful and mm. perfectly balanced. Just enough acid to cut through the butter and form this mm. beautiful sauce with the chicken. I loved it. I would highly recommend it. I would say go and share with friends because yep. you're going to want to try everything. Yeah, family style. Yeah, get the chicken, yep. get yep. the roasty, yep. get the fondue. Mm -hmm. yep. And if it's yeah. warm, you could sit out. There's a little yes. tiny patio. Yeah. And you can sit outside. It yeah. definitely is really nice to sit out there and enjoy kind of an outdoor thing. It's quiet it's too. Like, it's yeah, quiet out there. But yeah. if you're inside, it, it's funny, but it's like you're going to dinner in somebody's well, dining room, yeah. right? In but the it's house. someone that's your yes. friend, and yeah. you want to be on good behavior, but yet you're not <laughs> exactly. uncomfortable. And you can get wine for twenty-eight dollars a bottle, yeah. you know. And in really Which is tasty really, wine. It's a very European yeah. feel. It's about right. in, not the world's best bottles right. of wine, but about enjoying a bottle right. of wine. Right. You have with a bottle of wine because it's with your food, food, yeah. food but right. it, it complements the food. Sometimes you just want to go and you're like. I want house wine. Right. Yeah. Here it's mm -hmm. all house wine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can get Southern Rhone, you can get this, you can yeah. get that. It's all $28. They did bring me the wrong vintage, but I <laughs> figured it's $28. Yeah, it's $28. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Right? And the, um, we had all the, the, we had all the fondue yeah. dinner comes with a chocolate fondue at the end. Oh, so, you know, man. if you're into that kind of thing, what's nice is the fondue is so rich in everything, yeah. but it actually comes with a 
a variety of fruit, so you don't feel like you're going to die. I love the spumoni. I, so <laughs> I, I asked him, I said, is this homemade? Because it was so darn good and so fresh. Wow. He's like, no, it actually, it's another, but yeah. like little little nuts in there and a little chocolate. I mean, mm. it was phenomenal. And like I said, who serves it? I mean, and I'm in love with spumoni now, so now I'm going to be looking for it. But I, th I don't know if it's ever going to be that good, though. I mean, I don't, I don't know who makes it, but it's phenomenal there. <laughs> All right, this is your spot, Andrea. <laughs> Wrap it up for us. If you want really delicious either fondue, you know, the, the sole, yeah. salmon, uh, Italian dishes, Swiss dishes, sausage. You have great food for cold weather, hot weather. Hit up Chalet Ticino. It's fantastic. Okay, and Rachel? I would say if you want a charming spot to take friends, especially in the winter with their cute fireplace and some rich Swiss food, check it out. It's great. Definitely make sure you meet Alex. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and John? Chalet Ticino is like having the Swiss and Italian Alps in your backyard. Oh, if you would like to try Chalet Ticino, it's in the Charter Shell Center in Foster City. The telephone number is 650-571-0507. It's open for lunch and dinner every day and dinner only on Sundays. Reservations are recommended and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $40. I want to thank my boisterous and bubbly guests on this week's show. John Zukowski, whose Southern Thai homestyle eatery showcases full-bodied flavors of the Far East at Lana Thai in Livermore. Rachel Trapathy and the simple yet savory small bites at Vintage Hipster Joint 20 Spot in San Francisco. And Andrea Ramirez, whose Chalet Ticino in Foster City blends Mediterranean charm with classic European fare from the bucolic Swiss Alps. We really want to hear from you and about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So go to our website at kqed.org slash check, please, where you'll find a lot more information and details on all the restaurants featured. You can watch a show, download a segment, and read my wine notes on the wines we're drinking today. And you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for exclusive behind-the-scenes clips, pics, and notes from me. We love hearing from you. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. And cheers to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. This show is available on demand and online. To watch an episode, find restaurant information, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash checkplease. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers, opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Just 45 minutes from the Bay Bridge, Jameson Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamesonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport, offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International, park close, fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. A KQED television production.